Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's episode. Now we are at Dive Bermuda at Grotta Bay Resort. It's the weekend before Christmas, so it's gonna be one of our very final dives in Bermuda. We only have a few more weeks in Bermuda before we actually leave. Me and Holly have got our Australia paperwork through, so we're about to go and work, move to Australia in July. New adventures, work there as dive instructors. We cannot wait, we're so excited. But before the, that, we have six months where we're gonna be traveling exclusively with Kids Sea Camp all over the world. As you see in the community page, guys, I put where we're gonna be diving. So if you guys wanna come and dive with me and Holly with your family, then definitely reach out for family, uh, family divers, Kids Sea Camp, and come dive with us. Wicked destination is gonna be in. But as I said, we don't know where we're going today. We are in Bermuda. We're gonna be guiding or teaching at Dive Bermuda today, but look at today's conditions. Absolutely stunning today. So I hopefully hope we're gonna be going north. I'm not too sure, we might be going south, but let's go out, let's go find out together as we go for one of our final dives, maybe one more weekend after this. But when you guys see this January, we already be in Roatan. But we love Bermuda, we will be back in Bermuda of course. But let's jump in and let's go see where we're going. Hopefully we're going north to some wrecks on North Shore. Let's go guys. Hello. Morning again. He wants money as well. He wants money as well. <laughs> so as we just don't pay for anything. Exactly. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, travel. Morning, Anton. And we are on the boat. And we're back on Narcosis. Get set up and let's get going. Last time they were here, yeah. there was a nurse shark. Yeah. I wasn't here for the nurse shark. Yeah. We're going to keep our eyes open for that guy. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I was like, um, I could have been there. Yeah. Um, but it's a really, really pretty dive site. All here, right under the boat, is shallow, about five meters. So we'll do our safety stuff, kind of swimming around here. The sandy patch ends, you can get some little cutting wipes that will play with you and things like that. Dive site tends to be around about 15, 16 meters for the most part, apart from the shallow bit here. Need some help, Sai? And what's the name of the dive site? Okay. Cathedral. There we go. <laughs> As we drop from the Moorin Ball onto one of the most famous dives in Bermuda, we're heading towards the cathedral. Now, as we make our way into the sand patch, we work our way to Devil's Throat, or for the nervous divers, we call Champagne Flute. The reason it's called Devil's Throat is because when we have surge, it really sucks you in and fires you out like a cannon. And it's really cool the way it drops you down towards depth. But today, this dive site was full of glassy sleepers. They were everywhere on this dive site. There was thousands of them and they were just stunning to see and we knew we were in for an awesome dive as we were heading out of Devil's Throat, continuing towards the main cathedral. You can see Lulu, Georgia and Karen all buzzing as we're making our way towards the main cathedral. Now, as you can see just ahead of us, we're still on the reef and there's breakers surrounding all of us. And this is how dive sites get formed in Bermuda with arches and swim throughs is because water and ocean erosion has broken away underneath these breakers creating these stunning underwater sceneries for us to explore. And as we slowly make our way down towards the mouth of the cathedral we start dropping down and you see it appearing out of the gloom in the depth. It is amazing. It looks daunting pulling in but you know when you're in there, it is just stunning. It's a beautiful dive site. And on amazing days, you'll have beams of light coming through the cracks that make it light up as a cathedral. And unfortunately today, due to the cloud coverage, we didn't get those beams to make it look like a cathedral. But it's a great spot for lionfish hunting, as you see Lulu has her spear. Now, as we're wa working our way out of the dive site, we come across some old ship anchors. Now a lot of ships would drop anchor here just off 
outside Castle Harbour waiting to come in and of course over years a lot of these anchors have been dropped as you can see them. And then we have this memorial as well for a diver where this was his favourite spot for years and after he passed away they left a memorial here for him but unfortunately hurricanes have flipped it over the years so we always try and place it back up but unfortunately the lighthouse part doesn't sit there anymore and it's slightly away from where it originally is but it's a nice memorial for the diver, local diver where this was his favourite dive site in Bermuda. As we continue going around we continue exploring the dive site through all the cracks and the canyons and the passages around this dive site as you can see me working around one of the passages canyons running a circular motion almost back towards the main cathedral you get a little bit surge here but it is beautiful and normally you might get turtles here occasionally lots of parrotfish lionfish more eels there's normally so much life as we work our way back towards the cathedral and as we're working our way back in you can see the more cathedral effect you can see just in the roof you have some beams coming through it's a huge domed arch this has been created as i said earlier from years of erosion and it is spectacular you can just see that beam at the top coming through now on amazing days where the, there's no cloud cover this thing is lit up and it's unbelievable why it's one of the most popular dives in bermuda because the underwater landscape and scenery is stunning. Now, as you remember in the Christmas special, we dived this site and right above where that sun is shining down just now, we had an eagle ray and a grouper sitting there. I'll tag that video up above that you guys can check out. As one of my divers started running lower on air, I started making our way back towards the boat and I took us through the wormhole. Now this is a really cool swim through between two sections of reef. It's maybe around about 30, maybe 20 to 30 meters long. And it's really awesome to come through because instead of having to shallow up, go to about three meters and then drop back down the other side in the sand patch to make your way back to the mooring, you can run through the wormhole between the two sand patches. And this will drop you pretty much right next to the sand patch at the mooring ball. So when you come through this wormhole, you know you're only a minute, if not 30 seconds, away from the boat. And the divers love coming through. As you can see, Holly's coming through after Georgina with about seven wetsuits on because she was freezing. And also if you run the wormhole the other way, you get nice big arches as well, which is a second line of breakers. Just slightly west of the main cathedral, we have more arches. So I just returned some divers back to the boat who were cold, and then me, Georgia, and Holly decided to go explore the second breaker line of arches. After we went and explored that, we decided to make our way back to the boat because time was up for the dive. We had an awesome dive. Hope you guys did too, and we'll see you next week.